MindWing Concepts has a methodology with hands-on tools that educators, children, and parents can use to work together to improve communication, thinking, and literacy skills necessary for success in school and in life. What makes MindWing's methodology so unique and child-friendly are MindWing's visual kinesthetic tools, which are comprised of a series of patented icons that are colorful, meaningful, and three-dimensional. Children can see, touch, and move these icons to help them recognize feelings and motivations of characters, to cue them for the WH questions about stories, and to assist them in identifying text structures in content area textbooks such as science and social studies. MindWing's approach is designed for all grade and ability levels, targeting oral language skills necessary for comprehension, writing, critical thinking, and social-emotional growth. MindWing's research-based methodology can be used in classrooms, small groups, and therapeutic settings. MindWing's professional development services focus on the link between oral language and literacy. All of our workshops, coaching sessions, and demonstrations are interactive and incorporate lecture, discussion, activities, videos, modeling, and guided practice. The presenter uses MindWing's hands-on tools as well as children's literature, chapter books and novels, content area articles, and textbook chapters. Participants will learn hands-on strategies for instruction and intervention in the areas of oral language development, critical thinking skills, listening and reading comprehension, writing, and social-emotional growth. Participants in MindWing's workshops include early childhood educators, general education teachers, special educators, speech and language pathologists, literacy coaches, administrators, and parents. During MindWing's professional development, participants will learn how to use our methodology within their existing curriculum and how to use our instructional materials for key areas such as early childhood education, early intervention, response to intervention, language learning disabilities, English language learners, and autism spectrum disorders, all with the goal of giving children the skills to be successful in school and in life. MindWing Concepts has been recognized over the past two decades for our unique, hands-on approach to learning, for increased student achievement, and for the simple fact that kids love it. Right, a local company has created an ingenious way of making learning fun. Can it be? Well, behind it are years of research and a success story that's helped children forge a link between language and literacy. This afternoon, we visited the White Street School. Check it out. They made a plan, and then it didn't work. At first glance, it may look like art class, easel and doll, but there's much more history behind these symbols. This fifth grade class is learning about King George III, the Massachusetts colonists, and the Second Continental Congress through magnets. They met because there was a problem or a kickoff that occurred in Lexington and Concord, and that was the first battle of the Revolutionary War. It's called Story Grammar Marker, created by Western Mass native and former AIC professor Mary Ellen Morrow. The idea is to take the text and retell it in story form. It's a visual, tactile, so they can see it, the children can touch it, they can move it, and it's to get the structure of the story or the text into their head. MindWing's educational products are in more than 7,000 classrooms across the country. On this day, teachers at the White School are observing students apply the technique. The story grammar marker takes different shape depending on the grade. A tool, not a toy, Morrow says it's designed to help children organize and visualize the elements of a story. It's um, very different from just having three boxes that say beginning, middle, and end. So this part is the beginning of a story. This is the middle. And then this is how it ends.
Making learning fun. It's a concept that prompted a standing ovation from Mrs. Gorman's class. And story Grandma Marker has received a nod from Yale University, which will use some money to put it in Hartford schools. So what's next? Marl says a tool for writing, which will help when it comes to things like MCAS exams. So stay tuned. The nice part of this is that we also offer the parents suggestions on what can they do at home so that we might be able to send packets of information home and the parents can also work with their children in the same manner that we work with children at school. So you're getting the benefit of both the home education and the school education component working together. So we feel we've been very fortunate to have that support both from the family side as well as, as the school community as a whole with your special education teachers and your speech pathologist and your paraprofessionals and the teachers all talking the same language. And the bottom line of all of this is take a look at the scores. I've got seven years of research at this point in time or tracking and we, our scores have improved significantly. Uh, and we're very, very pleased at this point in time uh, it's kind of a, maybe a, a, a jump from this, but when you start talking about California achievement tests and you start talking about MCAS tests and long compositions in fourth grade uh, and things along that line, the story grammar marker is the foundation. That's the beginning and the building of you know the use of that tool to strengthen the children's understanding and their concept of reading and language. And by the time the student gets to fourth grade, that's when you start seeing the fruits of those labors. Our scores are very, very good. Our writing samples are very strong. And uh, in, a, in a district here in Westfield, you know, we feel that we have some of the top scores in the city uh, in, in those areas. And we think the Story Grammar Marker has a, a huge uh, part in that success of our children. Dear Ms. Foodrich, thank you for coming to our class and teaching us how to write better stories. Thank you so much for teaching us a story grammar marker. It taught me how to write a story. The first time I saw the story grammar marker, it looked weird, but now I like it and I think it's cool. I have enjoyed story grammar marker with you this year. I think story grammar marker has made all of us improve on writing a story. It helps me learn better. It makes me think I'm special. Thanks to you, I've learned more about the setting and the character. It's really fun. I learned more about language because of the story grammar marker. I love it when we got the story grammar marker. Thanks to you, I can write a real story. Thank you for teaching a story grammar marker. I enjoyed it. When I grow up, I want to be a story grammar marker teacher. Yeah.